Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There are some new cards coming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team very soon. We've been expecting this and we actually already have them shown inside of the search filters as a card type and card design inside of this game. I wanna talk about UCL cards, the rare and non-rare UCL cards that should be coming soon, potentially tomorrow. I wanna talk about today in this video how that could impact the market and as well, just a kind of wrap up and you know what is going on, a market watch video at the same time talking about all of what is happening on this game right now. We have a team of the week four that is getting absolutely destroyed in price. We had four new items in packs yesterday as a part of the Road to the Knockouts team uh, with Andy Robertson being the leader of that set of four. So I want to talk about those cards as well as maybe today's content on Monday with upgrade packs, right? Monday's the past two weeks during ones to watch. We had upgrade packs come out. I would expect the same today on Monday as well. And also with the last weekend league rewards tonight, just kind of maybe speak on a little bit how that could impact the market. But first thing is first, I want to talk about these blue cards, right? Because I think this is going to have some big time market impact on Tuesday, because basically what it's going to bring is even more supply and more cards on this market that are just like the golds, right? And these are the cards that I'm talking about. The UEFA Champions League rare card design and the UEFA Champions League common. These are not new. We know about these. We've had these since FIFA 19. But of course, with the way the market is this year, I really think that these cards are going to drop gold card prices even a little bit more, especially on the top tier, as some people will probably sell their gold versions to go buy these versions right away just because they look a little bit cooler. And it basically means double supply on the market all year long for these gold cards throughout the rest of the year if EA does this the same way. So just in case you were not aware or you do not remember or did not remember, these are the cards that we're talking about, right? These regular, it's basically the exact same stats as the golds. And the reason why I think these are coming out on Tuesday is the past three years that these have been released, they've been released on a Champions League Tuesday in October. Now, the last two years, FIFA uh, 21 and FIFA 20, they released like in the middle of the month, uh, October 22nd on Tuesday in FIFA 20 and October 20th on a Tuesday in FIFA 21. And they impacted the market some, right? A, a little bit. I think this year though, again, with the way the market is structured and with that supply, these UCL rare and non-rare cards are going to have, in my opinion, just about the exact same pack weight as the golds. And that is going to just drive the golds down further because people are going to sell a gold card that they have to play with a cooler looking item that has a different color that is blue. It's all about the cosmetics. I know some of you guys are going to disagree with this because you think that these cards, how with the, if they had the same stats as the gold item, how would people actually want to go out and use these, especially right away in the first day or two? I remember specifically specifically last year on this game and I actually have I talked about it in my video a year ago a year ago when we looked at these cards coming onto the market this blue Neymar the exact same stats as his gold card was selling for a hundred to 150,000 coins more than his gold card for the first couple hours and I think even the first day he was at least 50 to 100k over his gold card price because this was a very popular card in the game and it was basically like a quote unquote promo card and people some people said that he even played better than his gold card right even with the same stats so again it's, it's only a cosmetic thing with these cards as far as we know it but people just love new even if it's the same stats on a card and it's just a new color on the item People will love this stuff and they will go for it tomorrow on Tuesday if that is when they are released. So I think that some of your gold cards on the market, maybe a Bruno Fernandes, maybe a Rashford, of course, all these players, it's not every single player in the game. Obviously, it is only players that are on clubs that have made it into the Champions League, into the group stages, um, and into that they're currently in the competition as it stands, basically, is how this works. So again, guys like Lewandowski, Kyle Walker, again, Mane, uh, Neymar, Kante, and these cards will be in packs year round, just like the golds will be. And it's, it's the exact same card stats. Now, the only time that it has not been the exact same card stats is the first time that they did this in FIFA 19. And I think they learned their lesson in FIFA 19 to not do this ever again, but they gave the UCL cards all a plus one across the board boost, right? Plus one in every individual stat category and plus one on the face card stat. Now, I really don't think that's going to happen. 
because they keep running promos and they like running these campaigns and promo teams like Road to the Knockouts way better than they do just giving these random gold cards a plus one upgrade. So I don't expect to see the plus one upgrades. If they do bring those out and they supply these, these brand new Champions League rare cards like golds, then the gold cards are going to drop even more. But I, seriously, I really think that when these Champions League rares come out, you know, they're going to be a little bit more expensive than the golds right off the bat, um, just because people are going to want to go after them. But it is going to drop the golds in price, I do believe, because you're going to see people sell these and they're going to be worried about the supply of the blue cards. And it's basically just going to supply, especially these, hop, these top tier players, even a little bit more on the market. So that's, I guess, my fair warning or... I guess something to watch out for with some of these gold cards. Now, I don't think that it's going to be like the craziest market crash ever. Let's use Bruno as, as our example again, right? Let's say Bruno gets a Champions League card. Right now, he's like 92K, right? 92,000 coins for this 88 Bruno. Let's say that they bring out the UCLs on Tuesday. Bruno might drop three, four, five thousand 5,000 coins, right? I don't think it's going to be a crazy drop, but... I do think that you will see some prices dropping just because it's more supply for basically the exact same card on this game. And that's going to end up dropping the prices in the couple days after that. So that's just my opinion on how that is going to work. And I wanted to give you guys a heads up on that because that is coming very soon and uh, that's going to impact the market. So that is my little two cents on the UCL rare cards. Uh, it also will be, end up being an incredible card to actually trade with for SBCs because if these cards are coming into packs on Tuesday, what we should also see in the SBC section is a brand new type of marquee matchups called UEFA marquee matchups. And you guys remember how these work. It's basically just like the normal marquee matchup set of SBCs, but instead it is based upon the Europa League and the Champions League. And I guess now they could throw in the Conference League games that are happening that week. Pick some of the best matchups, the biggest teams that are going against each other or most important matchups of that week, and then make an SBC section out of it. Usually, I think it's just two sections. They usually do like a Tuesday game and a Wednesday game, and most of the time, it's just Champions League. So that's just something to note for the UEFA marquee matchups, which I think we haven't seen them yet. I think we will see them this week. Since we're in the middle of a Champions League-based based promo, and um I guess UCL, Europa League, and Conference League base promo. I think we will see that content this week. That's why I feel so strongly about seeing those cards and having them impact the market. Now, speaking of the market, let's talk about this thing, man, because it is Monday, right? We are heading into Monday, which is a pretty, in the past couple weeks, Monday has been a pretty quiet day for the market. It really has. Usually we head out of the weekend league, the market high as people are exiting weekend league, getting their rewards. The last rewards are going to be claimed tonight, which is going to be some of the last time supply for some of these special cards that are in packs, unless we have some sort of pack SP, uh, supply SBC or something going on. I mean, UEFA marquee matchups on Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever that's released, could impact the market a bit. Um, but usually this reward set, the way that the market looks this year, besides any special content EA would put out, this might be the last kind of set of rewards and pack supply for some of these cards that are in packs, especially the team of the week, right? And this team of the week is absolutely getting destroyed right now on the market a combination of panic selling and just more supply than normal has these cards down bad like i mean we thought rafinha was crazy cheap at 50k i mean i'm in if you guys have any team of the week fours i'm even in this with you a little bit i picked up a rafinha at 50k and my man is now down after these last few hours heading into the uh, weekend league rewards time frame he is 39,000 coins he dropped 10,000 coins just yesterday on this game. Depay is 48,000 coins. Teo Hernandez has dipped under 200k. Lozano is 22. It's crazy, right? And this is the reason why these prices are dropping is it's because of a couple things, right? It's two things that are happening here. Number one, you had the whole no loss glitch weekend league issue that was going on this weekend. And that had and that brought a lot more people better rewards than what they usually get. And that's bringing more supply to this market. But also what you have on top of that is people that think that these prices are way too cheap and they're investing in these cards. See, you can see here, we look at the 59th minute, these Rafinhas that are getting listed up, there's a second owner, no games played, right? That's an investor. Third owner, no games played for that guy's account, right? Fourth owner, that guy played some games with it. Second owner, no games played. This That is somebody that is selling their cards scared of the reward supply tonight, right? Especially if you see no chem style, 
no games played like this guy. That's somebody panic selling Rafinha because they invested and he didn't go up. And now they're trying to get out before the reward supply tonight. So I do think there's one of two things that could happen. This team of the week could stay really, really cheap just like Team of the Week 2 did. Remember, like Felipe Anderson, some of those cards that were in Team of the Week 2, they just stayed stupid cheap, and it took them like a week to actually rise out of packs. It took, it took them a couple days to actually rise. Normally, a Team of the Week starts to rise, you know, right after the weekend. Um, now, with a couple of these cards, like Teo Hernandez dipping under 200K for the first time, he was 190 just a little bit ago. I want to look and see, are these a lot of second owners? First owner games played. Second owner, no games played. There's a first owner. So again, it's it's a mixture of people that invested in these to try to you know buy them for a market rise as we head towards the midweek. And also some people that are actually packing them from weekend league rewards, from their tradable packs that they're attaining from uh, weekend league rewards on this late Sunday night, early Monday morning. So I do think that people are gonna be active and start to invest in these, these informs. And I think that the drops that you have had today, if people... Uh, panic sold these informs today. Uh, I think you're gonna see a new wave of investing, right? And the only ones that I would, you know, kind of be interested in on this market at the moment. Let's see if that 193 Teo Hernandez gets bought. It did. So there's people that are looking to invest in these, even though they've dropped off even more. Um, I think the only two cards that I would be really interested in, just because of their rarity, right? Rarity on this market and on this game, is just holds so much weight when you're trying to buy cards for a rise out of packs. Um, I think Mane and Teo Hernandez with a, actually, I would give a honorable mention shout to Kaylor Navas, um, just because of the links that he has with the hype of Kempembe and Marquinhos. But out of this team of the week four, I'm not going to be buying cards. I really, I have a couple Depays and a couple Rafinhas that I'm losing coins on my transfer list. One Rafinha and two Depays to be exact. I'm not going to be buying any more of this team of the week unless it is Mane or Teo Hernandez because those are the two cards that I think would jump the most and the quickest because they're the most rare and the most meta. Now, if you want to buy some of these cards, like, you know, uh, I, I hear people investing in Thomas Muller as a quote unquote link investment for this upcoming team of the week. This card is going to end up being over invested because he's not going to be needed for SBCs that soon. So any rise you see on a Thomas Muller this week, like if he hits 25, 26, 27,000 coins, by the time we get to Tuesday or Wednesday, with supposedly having like either Lewandowski or Nabry in Team of the Week, I'd be selling that card so quick, right? I'd be getting out of that card right away. I think some of these cards are going to get invested in over the next couple of days. So just be very careful with that, although there are some sick cards that are in this team. I would just be very careful with those cards and investing in them, at least investing in a lot of them. If you want to dabble, buy one or two, stock one in the club like I did with Kaylor Navas then I don't mind that, but just be careful with some of these cards. So that's my team of the week for spiel, I guess you could say. Now with those rewards tonight, and again, that last little bit of supply, and with a lot of these cards having some games midweek, you know, it may be a little bit worth your time looking into a couple of these cards and saying, hey, if I want to get any of these for the short term, maybe for a quick flip, you might see Mukiele 61K, that has dropped off. Uh, a considerable amount, even in the last couple hours, I believe. Mukiele was 70K this morning, 69,000 coins, and he has just dropped off really, really fast. I'm going to check this out because I know this card isn't that insane. I know I talk about this card a lot, but this guy fills a much needed hole in this game as a French right back. There's literally no other French right backs in this game that people would want to use, and we might have just had some actual footbin undercuts here. 61K was a footbin undercut. So if I could catch a snipe at 60, I would maybe put one of those on my transfer list just to see how it could do. But you might see some of these road to the knockouts rise up a little bit into the week just because they're a lot more rare. Boom, 60K. Ooh, got sniped. Uh, these cards are a lot more rare than like the ones to watch normal promo cards. They're just really rare and they have potential games that will affect their upgrading stats this week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, these cards that are playing and have games, if they win, you might see them go up a little bit in price. I know it's very early, but um, you you know, you know, might see some upswings on these cards in price this week, depending on where they're at, where they're at, how close they are to the upgrade or clinching that um, knockout stage berth or qualification with however many points they need to get that inside of their group stage. So I would just keep an eye on some of those cards. I do think you'll see some of the market rise up today, a lot of gold cards, right? And just to talk about, again, what we mentioned last night 
on the YouTube video. I bought a bunch of the Youngs. I bought that uh, Hyunmin Sun last night at 1.04, sold it at 117. I bought a bunch of the Youngs after I sold Sun. I bought these the Youngs at 104 to 107,000 coins. He rose up between 117 and 120 in just a couple hours. That was a good flip. I bought Alfonso Davies at 40, 41,000 coins. I sold these at 46K. So there were some really good flips that you could have with gold cards. And as I'm watching the market right now, I'm keeping an eye out for uh, this early Monday morning, maybe some cards that are just kind of down in price, especially on the high tier meta cards that people are going to be upgrading for out of their weekend league. I'm taking a look at Kevin De Bruyne. Unless this is a footbin undercut, he was around 150. Footbin shows 144. Okay, he's actually not 144. That was definitely that was definitely an undercut. But you know, I'm keeping an eye on that. I'm keeping an eye on a guy like Goretzka. I'm keeping an eye on some of these gold cards that are the most meta items in this game that people like to use. That they might be upgrading to after they get their rewards this morning on Monday. We did see the market rise up a little bit uh, last Monday after these rewards were released. So it's going to be a good time to trade with some of these cards like icons, maybe some heroes if they get supplied. And you're going to have some people that you're going to start to see buy up golds for their team as well. So if you see any gold card drop off, in these next couple hours this this uh this morning or when you're watching this video just take a look at some graphs right again like like i showed you last night i'll even show you the de young graph that i was looking at last night when i bought his card uh yesterday right here i can see that on saturday he hit a point of 112 a little bit of promo supply he went back to 110 and I was like, man, this is a card that a lot of people are going to want to use to link with that Fakir card and the Usman Dembele and their play of the month Benzema. He went back down to 107, dipped to 103, boom, got in right around here. I actually bought my cards about right here. During rewards, he dipped a, a, just a slight bit and then rose all the way back up to 117 where he's kind of been, right? The market really kept going higher yesterday on Sunday because there wasn't a lot of content and there wasn't a lot of supply. And I expect with a little bit of a dip at rewards today, you're going to kind of see the same thing. Bit of a dip at rewards rising up into the day today on Monday. Now that dip could be stopped short depending on what content we have. But for SBC wise, today on Monday, the only thing I'm really expecting 100% is upgrade packs, some sort of upgrade pack. And you know, people might be a little more excited for upgrade packs for this promo rather than last week's and two weeks ago's ones to watch promo, just because these cards are pretty cool and they, they have a better car design in my opinion. They, you know, the upgrade chances are more team based, which people like a lot more than individual based. Um, and, and these cards, I would say that there's, there's better cards since they already have upgrades on them. There's better cards in this road to the knockout stage set uh, than there were with ones to watch. So, you know, you might see some people going out and doing those upgrade packs today. Um, you know, we, we haven't gotten a second objective player, which I am a little bit surprised about. Um, we have not gotten a second one of those. We only have Andre in here, um, but maybe they're waiting until this next Friday to drop us uh, another um, objective card because this Andre is out for nine more days. So he's out past this, this Friday. So there might be, they might be dropping another one of these um, into the game on Friday. We'll have to see what they end up doing with that. Because in my opinion, what they're going to do is they're going to run this week. Th these cards, these Road to the Knockout cards are going to be in packs till Friday. They're going to run week two of this. There's going to be a team two of Road to the Knockouts. And then those cards are going to be in packs just like ones to watch team two. They're going to be in packs till next Wednesday. And then they're going to be setting up for whatever next promo is after that the Friday after that Wednesday where they cut the second team short, if you will. So that that is what I think they might do with this market on this game. Now, of course, you got a lot of stuff moving on this market, right? You got stuff going up. You got stuff going down. Um, you know, some at some point as well, for some of these cards that are like less than 20, 30,000 coins, specifically La Croix, right? And maybe you guys are feeling the struggle at the moment. You're like, man, I bought La Croix for 18,000 coins and right now he's 13K. Is he going to go lower? Yeah, he's going to end up going lower because he's a low rated card. He's going to get packed. Uh, he's there in UCL. So if he gets a UCL item, I think this would be the type of card that would get hurt a lot by a UCL item. It's just going to get pushed lower and lower and lower with the pack weight. I would just hold this card, though. This is what I'm saying. I bought a Lacroix, Lacroix for 11,000 coins and right now he's 13K. Maybe you bought him for like 16, 17, 18,000 coins, maybe even 20K. But if this guy is going to be your team, for the next couple of weeks, which is how good he is in this game, then just leave him there, right? And that's that's one thing that I would encourage you with right now is like, 
don't feel like you always have to stay 100% on top of your team. Like I bought a Chow Many to try out for the squad today. I bought this guy for 22,000 coins, striker position changed with a shadow. I literally bought into the trading method that we work on, right? Position change, chem style trading. <laughs> I bought a card that somebody's probably making profit on, but I don't care, right? I'm trying the card out. I'm having fun with my team. And these cards this year are so cheap compared to years past that unless you're rocking with somebody that's like an Mbappe or it's like maybe even a Bruno Fernandez or somebody that's like more than 50,000 coins that, you know, is maybe going to drop in price a lot in the next month or so. I wouldn't be super duper worried about trying to buy and sell and, and making sure that you at all times have a card in your team that was at a low price, that was at a good price, because that takes a lot of worry and that takes a lot of the fun out of the game too when you're trying to play the game for gameplay reasons. So that's my uh, short little TED talk, I guess you could say, um, about this market at the moment. So again, today on Monday, I'm expecting kind of another high market day, which means it might be a bit of a slow day on the game, we'll be looking for some icon deals. And again, if you're trading with icons too, just remember that these cards are continually going upwards in price as people get more coins. And yes, these cards do get supplied a little bit more, but the rate that people are gaining coins is a lot higher than these cards are getting supplied on the market. So that's why you see these cards continue to rise up in price. They're great to trade with. They fluctuate all the time. They're, they're absolutely a blast to trade with on this game. So just keep an eye on these cards as well. Keep an eye on the heroes, your road to the knockouts. Should be a fun week on FIFA, especially if they do add in those UCL blue cards. I think that will impact the market a decent amount, and we're going to be watching out for that as it comes. Of course, streaming every day this week live on stream, twitch.tv slash account, and that link is down below. Make sure you check that out. But that's the video for today, boys. A little bit of a market outlook, talking about what the frick is going on with this game and where this market may be headed in the next day or so with these UCL cards coming tomorrow, with these road to the knockouts, with that weekend league reward supply. And yeah, that's kind of what's going on with this game, boys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.